Good morning and happy Friday everybody. This is Christopher Golly with the Scoville Unit. Today I have a very special episode of the Scoville Unit. There'll be no politics, no nonsense, just the straight up beauty of peppers. Alright, today I'm joined by one half of the Garden Goombas, Doc. So Doc, tell me, what is a Garden Goomba? Garden Goomba is actually the brainchild of my partner, Cuzzy, who's very busy on a Zoom meeting right now because he has a day job. But basically, a couple Italian guys love gardening, love checking out other people's gardens. We'll stop and visit them, see what they do, some of their tips and tricks that their grandparents taught them. And uh, welcome to the Garden of Eat. Guys, I'm super excited to have a guest today, but I just want to put a little background into why I decided to do a show called the Scoville Unit. Obviously, where the news is hot and the peppers are hotter. Now, my background in peppers, uh, people that don't know me are probably wondering why I'm so into peppers and hot stuff. So when I was a child, uh, I was probably still as big as I am, but when I was a child, my grandfather, my opa, Sam, may he rest in peace, uh, was an avid hot sauce guy. I used to always remember going down into his garden and eating garlic, and he used to always eat his hot sauce, and his face would be turning red and sweating, and I always looked at him like he was nuts, and he would just smile and say, it tastes good, it tastes good. And one of the last things I remember about his hot sauce thing was he had this jar of hot sauce, so tiny. Uh, it was my, my uncle actually grabbed it. He used to use it to take the oil stains off of his driveway. And I thought that was fascinating. And I seen it happen. So I asked if anybody still had that bottle of hot sauce after he passed away. My uncle gave it to me. And I actually, that's when I really started getting into hot stuff. Uh, that was too hot for me to start. I barely touched it. I actually... I don't remember really what happened. I think I brought it down the fire department when I was a firefighter to have them try it. And I think we used it to get some grease stains off the pavement. But real quick here, a couple months back, I took a stop down Cava Corner uh, out near Dallas. And uh, I did a hot wing challenge. Now, this is not a pleasant experience for me. This is probably one of the worst experiences of hot sauces I've ever had. No, it is the worst experience. But uh, I did a wing challenge. It was 16 million Scoville units. Now, I was used to things around 9 million, so almost double what I'm used to. Uh, I suggest not doing stuff like that because it was just very, very, very bad. So, Frank, how long have you been on this beautiful earth providing us with all these delicious-looking vegetables? I mean, I've been gardening a number of years. I started this Garden of Eaton in about 2013. Um, and since you are the Scoville unit, I figured we'll kind of show you a little bit about the hot peppers. Um, one of the big ones, obviously, the Italian long hots. Big with our heritage, definitely popular in our family. So I'll do about 18 to 20 pots with just the Italian long hots. Then we kick it up a little bit to the cherry peppers. These are a little hotter on the Scoville unit, as I'm sure you know. Oh, they look delicious. <laughs> From the cherries, then we kind of went a little nuts and went with a habanero this year. Typically, I don't have those, but a buddy of mine gave me some of the seeds. Hobs are coming in nice. Over here, we have something else. I'm thinking these are Scotch bonnet. They're such beautiful colors, though. Kind of afraid at how hot these are, but nah. maybe we'll let you try them later. Hey, why not? And then we got something down here. Oh, the mother I, pepper. I think these are the Trinidad scorpions. Some are turning orange here, and if you can get way in here, these red babies, in fact, I'm going to show you this here. <clears throat> Oh, it's beautiful. Look That's, at the color on that. It just it screams pain. But guess what? Good pain. Speaking of pain, we have an announcement to make. Oh. Talking about mother of all peppers and looking hot. Let's talk about what not to do when it comes to peppers, all right? There's so many different types of peppers out there. Ones that don't have any bite that are just taste like a little bit like water. And you got ones that are bland. You got some that are sour. You got some that are extremely sweet. You got peppers are used in meals every day. So there's something you need to know about peppers. Peppers can reach up to 16 million Scoville units, all right? If you don't know what the Scoville unit is, look it up. I myself know about stupidity when it comes to peppers. If you're not sure about a pepper and you don't know what it is and someone tells you it's hot, take their advice. Don't just go biting into it because, no joke, stuff can kill you. So, Doc, tell me, what's this special announcement we got going on? Well, 2020 has been quite a year, so I think it's time we turn the tide, maybe do something that we can all enjoy or not enjoy. The Garden Goombas have decided to do the first hot pepper challenge. It's going to take place at Redano's in Wilkes-Barre on the Square, Sunday the 27th of September, and we're looking for guys to compete. You know anyone who might be interested? I don't know. I think I may be interested. So, Doc, tell me a little bit about this competition. Well, it's going to be part hot dog eating contest, part let's see how hot you can eat. And what we're going to do is, I think the first round, we're going to start with the long hots. We're probably going to have five or so. you got to eat them in so many minutes. Then we're going to crank it up a little bit on the Scoville. We're going with the cherry peppers. 
we'll eat a bunch of those. Then jalapenos. We're probably going to go into habaneros, and if people are still alive in this competition, literally, we're probably going to go crank it up to something hotter. Oh, sounds fantastic. Wow, you heard it here, folks. September 27th, the Redondos and Wilkes-Barre Pepper Eating Challenge. I'll be there. I really hope to see some of my friends, maybe even family there, to either cheer me on or partake in the festivities. Remember, guys, this is the Scoville unit, where the topics are hot and the peppers are hotter.